What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I'm here this time with a couple of fellows. I got Green9090, Alpac Patrol, and currently Dancing Cam. Why don't you all say hello? Hello. Hey! I ain't your fellow! Oh. Well, Cam is not my fellow. <laughs> I ain't anyway. your fellow, bro. <laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Um, anyway, <laughs> we got a uh, challenge run here that was suggested to um, Green99... I don't know who the fuck that guy is, uh... But it's called a <laughs> melee. It involves mom's knife, sacrificial dagger, right? An angel cube meat, forever alone, disadmiration, admiration, and uh, yeah, a bunch of circly, dirkly items. And uh, the goal here is to not use mom's knife at all, except for melee. Uh, so you can only really just face a direction and use that. Uh, but as you can see, I kind of goofed and walked into the curse room accidentally. Uh, don't ask how. Uh, but we're just gonna start here and pick up some pills. So uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Wait, 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 but how did you how did you walk into the curse room accidentally? I, I was just waiting for Rob to get back. People were talking. I was moving around in circles. I mean, there's just so many spinning things on the screen. Before you like, know it, just yeah. Disc. yeah, just I was you're, like, oh, how the fuck I get in here? just sucked into the spikes, yeah. Yeah. That's but horrible. nothing important in there besides uh, pills that resemble Cameron. Uh, I'm already <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> resemble me? I, so I'm a tubular shape? Tubular. Oh, yeah, obviously. Uh, tubular! Say it's a tubular brawl. Oh, well then, shit. Um, fighting. I just remember that I can't use the knife. For some reason, I forgot. <laughs> you just Did you said already fail? Uh, no, I, I was in an empty room, so. Oh, okay. Um, I extra yeah. cube meat. Don't really need an extra cube meat, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I find when I'm doing this, I tend to accidentally throw the knife. A few times in a run, but it never helps me because I never planned on throwing it. So it's not usually are, a big deal. Right. There are also points though in this kind of run where where you kind of have to cheat because they're like over uh, a pit thing. Usually, you can make uh, Forever Alone do it for you. Yeah, he's a pretty far reach. Oh right, I forgot that you had. Yeah. That. There was one room ever in this challenge that I ran into where there were those green epic ag nubs in the middle and i the forever alone couldn't stay inside of it long enough to kill it and then it would grow back before he came around again so oh, i had to shoot the knife at him right. but that was the oh, only time tough. yeah turrets in the middle of the room are a big pain in the ass though you have to time yeah, them with forever so alone that yeah let's just hope that doesn't happen yeah <laughs> don't like yeah, this is a fun run. I really love these runs where you have to change the way you play Isaac substantially. Like, you have to adapt a totally new strategy to win. They really... I love those. They make the game fresh again. Yeah, I'm currently not adapting that strategy and taking a lot of damage, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, close enough. Same thing. Yeah, sure. Blindly yeah, running into enemies and stabbing them. Yeah. I love the runs where you can't win no matter how hard you try. Oh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't love those runs. Yeah. I'm determined to actually try that run just, just to prove that I can actually do it, because it seems like it'd be a really like, a big accomplishment actually completing that run all the way through. You guys really should try it. Taking, it's taking very Cam's difficult. brain? Is that, is that the run? Wait, what? <laughs> no, Epic Act by Reflection. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I, I would be very impressed if you were to succeed in that run. Yeah, it's really hard. It was impossible. Literally, I didn't know what the mirror does did, but now, I still don't really know what it does. It just makes your <laughs> shots come back at you. Yeah, they home to you. Uh, yeah. Ah. Well then, why would, why is that even an item? <laughs> it's not very good. It's, yeah, it's not. It's usually a bad item, but if you have piercing tears, it's actually pretty good because then it's like you can hit them on the way out and the way back. Huh. But yeah. Picked up the uh, the mark from the devil room for two hearts, hoping that will nice. Increase. Shit! I actually just recorded I a run where I became Guppy, and it was really fun. Oh yeah, uh, I'm becoming Guppy. I think it was only the second time I became Guppy. Ever become Guppy? Huh? 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 Yes. <laughs> yep. Rob has done some crack, everyone. Before he, <laughs> <laughs> he was gone for like 20 minutes. You know? yeah, yeah, like every video. It would be a good idea uh, to do a bunch of bunch of drugs beforehand, and I thought it would make for a good video. Yeah. Okay, well, I just picked up book revelations from the library, so. Oh, nice. That's gonna help a lot. Yeah, things are already going. I was really gonna well. say though, I'm not sure the mark was a great idea. What was your reasoning there? Uh, well, it, incre it would increase the melee damage and make it to where certain enemies that would take two ticks of damage now die in one tick of damage. Is that uh, true? I didn't yeah. even yep. know. That, I wasn't even sure that damage affected mom's knife. Oh, oh yeah. It does. 
<laughs> it definitely does. Have you ever had Polyphemus in Mom's Knife? Well, before? that's that's like a special exception though. Well, but yeah, yeah, that definitely works. Yeah. It, uh... No damage definitely affects it though. Yeah. MRI. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I noticed it. And also, that. like Mom's Knife, uh, seems to do a lot more damage when it's close to you than when it's far away from you. I found. Really? So, really? Yeah. So that's when you're just like you'll find when you're doing this run, if you stab something with a knife, it does a ton of damage. Huh. Yeah, it's fun. Mm. Yeah. For bosses, this run is hard. I think I died like a bunch of times trying to do oh, this Oh, you've run. tried this run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. Wait, this oh, is like, oh. like episode four or five, I think. Something ah, like okay. that. Yeah, it's a good one. I still want to yeah, try one of, one of the big head runs or one of the invisible runs. Oh, yeah, big head runs are fun. I still haven't done an invisible run. An invisible <laughs> run? You can become invisible in this game? Yeah, it's well, it's a glitch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's an item that makes you smaller, and if you take four of it, then you're invisible. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, it that. makes it really hard, because you can't oh. see yourself. Oh, do I want to do that? Like, the enemies can still see you, obviously. Mm. I kind of want to do a big head run, because I saw your head-to-head-to-head, -to -head -to -head, uh, and uh, it was really cool-looking and fun. Yeah, it was good times. Yeah. Okay, so I just went ahead and nabbed Horror Babylon for two more hearts, and I'm down to zero. But I have a bunch of soul hearts in Book Revelations, so... Yeah, that's good times. It's nice. You should get the Polaroid. Like it, yeah, you're, you're playing this run totally different than I usually do, in which I just try to get as much health as I can and don't really worry about damage. Right, right. It'll be I'm, interesting I'm, to see how this works out. I'm a very offensive guy. When yeah. It comes to, uh, you really are pretty offensive. Yeah, I'm very I, offensive. I remember we were walking by those nuns <laughs> and you just were insulting them up and down. It was terrible. It was really. <laughs> it's telling you what he believes in God is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just a whole group of nuns. I, mean, I don't know why we were there. I mean, we were, we were at the church, so. <laughs> just yeah. like, like, at them while they insulted them. Why were we at the church? Is my wrong, question. Wrong turn to the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I figured. <laughs> it's 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 weird because they're on opposite corners. It's like you know you're incentivizing going to the liquor store right after, or right uh, before. Mess. Or right before. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's another it's even better. Possibility. And Rob was in charge of little flask before you. <laughs> Rob was in charge of directions, and he obviously has been doing some crack today. So <laughs> yeah, Rob is uh... a. <laughs> Yeah, in this imaginary universe where we all went to a liquor store together, <laughs> even though we all live on... Yeah. No, it's when we all met up in that uh, other dimension where uh, Austin is very offensive to nuns. Yeah, yeah, and Cam's made out of jello. <laughs> yeah, I'm gelatin. That, that is my favorite. That is an inside joke. Yep. It really it's is. An it's, an actual, actual, it's super far inside joke. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is impossible deep. to explain inside yeah. jokes. <laughs> that is next level inside joking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a two hour conversation just to get to that joke. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you'll never understand this joke, viewers. I'm sorry. You're not cool enough. <laughs> You're oh, not no, that's cool. just a thing to do. Let's <laughs> alienate everyone right now. <laughs> everyone watching this video. We are Except on Austin's for... channel. So. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free to alienate them. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, things just are going extremely well right now. I picked up Odd Mushroom. Uh, the, I got Dang. a world card. Things are just Bang. Like, and I got the squeezy, so I got two more soul hearts. Nice. Bang. Oh man, for some reason I just had this strange flashback of the first time I ever saw a condom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. No, seriously. You explain that for some reason. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You said Austin's channel, and then for some reason I just thought of my, the first time I ever saw a condom. I just thought of dicks. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, seriously. Anyway, I was on the playground. I was in the, I don't know, like grade two or something like that. And uh, and somebody comes up to me like, oh my god, there's a con somebody found a condom in the gravel. And so like everyone's like crowding around it. I thought it was like an apartment complex, like a condominium. <laughs> and I, I really didn't know. I, I knew that word before I knew condom. Oh, and man. So, <laughs> and so it was just strange I to me. I was like, how do you find, so, what? And so I went, and it was just this, like, weird, like, kind of sluggish thing. I thought it was a bug for a little while. And then somebody picked it up. Somebody picked it up and explained what it was for. Like, he did, like, almost like a little speech to the whole, you know, crowd. Like, my friends, gather around. What the hell? This is, what is wrong with Canada? 
<laughs> it was strange. It was a learning experience for all. I will oh, say that, that. Actually, I remember in middle school that happened as well. Uh, someone found a condom on the ground, like in the playground, and everyone just flipped mad shit. I was like, oh, let's go see. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't get the reasoning behind that because it's just a piece of plastic. But oh, fucking conquest cool. war glitch. That, that's got to be the name of this episode. Someone found a condom. Yeah. <laughs> actually, funny story. The uh, the first time I saw a vagina was a weird experience. Not a real one, uh, but on paper. Basically, I was like, I don't know, six, and I was a walking into my local yeah paper vagina, like you know, like paper mache. Uh, <laughs> but no. <laughs> The, uh, so I was walking in my playground where I usually go hang out, right? And, um, and I'm like six, seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought this was like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is the other day. I saw the first vagina, guys. Internet high five. No. Send okay. over the playground. Uh, I always he hang out. He like, breaks swings at the playground for no reason. Because <laughs> he's an asshole. <laughs> like, yeah, anyway, so I'm off the slide. <laughs> Get out of here, kid. Well, <laughs> these, uh, these, these, whatchamacallit, these, like, older kids, these, like, I don't know, probably, like, 18, 19-year-old kids come over with a porn magazine, and they're like, hey, kid, look at this! And then, like, open up this porn magazine, and it's just like, wow, I, all right. That's a new experience for me right now. That's, that's completely threw me off. That um, is a weird hole. What is that thing? <laughs> Actually, I think up until that oh, point, I thought Wars. the girls had penis too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, sorry, right, I'm just uh, trying to focus a little bit, so. <laughs> well, this got dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then they raped me, yes. <laughs> and then they raped right. you. Wow, that's wow. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah I that part. Yeah, I remember, that factor. I remember uh, when I was. Sorry, Austin, go I'm on. Go, go, go ahead. Well, this is your channel. <laughs> uh, well, wow, well, I insist. <laughs> Uh, you exist, okay, that's it. all right. And, uh, I remember the first, one of the first times I saw boobies in real life. Uh, I was walking down the street, and uh, some, like, really drunk couple was just kind of, like, there was this really tall guy and this really kind of old, dirty-looking lady. And, uh, and I was with my friend, and he's just like, hey, kids, you want to see a boob? And, like, <laughs> oh, my God. It's up her shirt. <laughs> There was only one boob at the time, so it was kind of strange. Oh, Wait, man. Did she have an amputated other boob, or...? I, no, no, she's, he only, like, pulled up the shirt over one boob. It was strange. Oh, okay. That is really strange. <laughs> I'm is... actually just sitting here standing in a room with the, uh, the Four Corners uh, Vagina Monsters, and I have to sit here and wait for Forever Alone to circle, like, six times each. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two of them were champions, yeah. too, so... Yep. Just a good old time. Yeah, actually... I think in those rooms I did cheat because it's just like, well, I mean, I'm not going to take damage here. You guys know that. And it would just take forever to kill these things. Well, Cameron was telling such a riveting story. I was like, I'm just going to let this happen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the punchline was, hey, kids, you want to see a boob? Yeah, that was a good punchline. <laughs> <laughs> and the moral of the story is never look when someone says that to you. Because it was or a gross boob. Well, oh, okay. Well, what are you kidding? Say. No, I'm serious. It was a crust boob. She was an old, dirty lady. Okay. Well, I'm I mean, still walking... every time somebody says that to me, though. I thought you said uh, it was a young, young couple. No, no, no. Did I say it was a young couple? I said a drunk couple. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, you did say drunk couple. Different from drunk. Yeah. Yeah. We're losing Rob, by the way. Then are we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he going robot oh. Hashtag well, oh, Rob. Wait. Well, Fuck. if he's not going robot for you, then he's not going robot for the viewers. Oh, no. Well, I'm like, I'm mom fight, yeah. so I'm focusing. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, you're with your mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, I picked oh, up a fucking heart by accident. God damn it. Ah, that sucks. Right before you get the Polaroid. Yeah. Damn. Take some damage on purpose. No, you can't. Yeah, like, Cam, there's this game mechanic where, like, if you have all soul hearts and only half of a regular heart, then there are a few items that trigger for you. Horror of Babylon is one of them. You're familiar with that because Eve has yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. And another one is the Polaroid, which makes you, uh, it gives you a shield every time you get hit, but only if you only have half a red heart. Oh. So, so it's really good if you can stack a bunch of blue hearts on top of half a red heart or no red hearts at all, and then have those items. So can it, like, only occur once every few seconds or something like that? No, it occurs every time you get hit. So then what does the shield do? Like, reduces the damage or just stops you from getting hit? What?! 
It's really good. So then how does well, anything still, ever hit you? You still get because hit Because the shield goes away. Then, yeah. The shield goes away and then you get hit again and you take more damage and then the shield comes back up. Uh, right. Okay, so it doesn't protect you from the first hit. But after you take that damage, then you get a shield so you can't take Oh. It. Okay, makes sense. Makes uh. sense. <laughs> I thought it like just shielded you automatically and then you oh, never- Oh, no, no, yeah. Oh, motherfucking Larry just- Like, I, I spawned in a green Larry Jr. room in the womb and he just immediately shot me as I walked in. Like, no chance to die. Ah. Uh, what a dick. Yeah. That's a bummer. Oh, cancer. Good thing I can't use that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite trinkets. Yep. I always need to get that shit. A long time. Fucking headless horseman yeah. real talk. That's like the worst. I get uh, seal talk. Uh, seal talk, yo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Uh, That's enough seal talk on my channel. <laughs> slowly but surely losing. Uh, I've, I've lost all of my soul hearts now. <laughs> uh oh. You can do it. No, I can't. These rooms are fucking me. I'm now out of soul hearts. No. Two red hearts. Two red hearts. Oh. You gotta be careful, you gotta pick your, your approaches carefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like stab and run. Just touch him real quick and go. Stab and run, stab and run, that's my strategy on the streets. Yeah. Cam's yeah. really good at living in LA. <laughs> yeah, except I just do it to random people. I just, you know, as I walk by, just stab and run, stab and run. I think yeah. that's uh, Saints Row the Third, actually. Oh, yes, Saints Row the Third. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're confusing life with Rambo again, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if anybody watching this has not seen the Medieval War fail video that Last Grey Wolf posted, mm. that thing yeah. was hilarious. Yeah, I Cameron watched that. found it extra hilarious. I don't I, know why. But I really loved didn't. it. It was Cameron, serious. Cameron kills a lot of people, but very few of them are not on his team. I don't think any of them were. <laughs> yeah, it was true. <laughs> Did he ever killed an enemy? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, you killed enemies, but I don't think it made it into the video. Oh, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> I, made I, I loved the team kill counter, but my favorite part of the entire video is when I ran screaming across the field and then took enemies oh, too green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and let him up. die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. And then you jumped off the cliff. And then I jumped off a cliff. That was yeah. really good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure Green dies and then kill myself because we were the only <laughs> people left on our team. And yeah, and that's... if we had worked together, we could have had maybe a chance. But yeah, I was actually emulating real life. That's my goal in life: is make sure Green dies and then kill myself for a quick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's Cam's ultimate goal. Yeah. Ultimate goal. <laughs> I just explored the entire utero part two and went the wrong direction twice. Ah, uh, it sucks. My yep. Favorite. Oh, do I risk this judgment? This is a very precarious judgment. It's between uh, a bunch of fucking it's... spikes. Yep. It's scary. But I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I think we're safe. As long as it doesn't drop like a troll bomb, in which case, definitely not safe. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst part about the spike judgments. When you have to get out in a hurry. Give me a health upgrade. That's what I need right now. Come on, judgment. I don't need keys. Damn it. Um, judgment's not okay. Uh, the world, okay, that's good. Oh, okay. that is good. Yeah. Uh, red heart, that's... not not good. What's that? What does it do? Reveal it just that. makes you win. God damn it, Austin. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, we're, so Ooh, we're trolling me even when I'm okay. not. Like, well, yeah, well, you don't want you to take information from this into your own Let's Play. Okay, so Either. Mom's Coin Purse. I got Mom's Coin Purse, and uh, the blue pill I already got earlier was Balls of Steel, so the most, the more blue pills, the better. Yeah, that's good stuff. Zero blue pills. No! Oh, can you get chance? There's Luck Up. I could use that earlier. There's Bad Trip. Awesome. No, that's good. Um, fuck that last pill. I don't give a shit. But do go. you give... Uh... Piss? No, no. That's not even. I don't even. Cameron. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hear a Cameron story? I mean, Rob, uh, Cameron does uh, something stupid. The end. Yeah. Uh, everybody here has <laughs> already heard it, actually, but the viewers. So, uh, Cam and Rob and I were playing Torchlight 2. 
last night. And uh, we yeah. got to around level 9, and then Rob and I were talking about how we were allocating our stat points, because you can put them into, like, vitality <laughs> or focus and stuff. And Cam's like, wait, you have stat points? And he, <laughs> he had spent the entire time up to level 9 not allocating any stat points at all, just emulating a level 1 character. It was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's true, but... <sighs> but but nothing. Oh god. Yeah, but there's nothing. The, I game's, can say the game is really clear <laughs> about it as well. Like every loading screen is like, hey, you forgot to allocate these points, and it tells you like stat yeah. points and skill points. Yeah, yeah I don't we, read things. Yeah. I think yeah, we and Cam it. doesn't read things. That's yeah. He is illiterate, so I mean, you know, in fairness, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I I am illiterate. I'm from America, so that's that explains um, it. Yeah, I mean, if I were get really pissed off about reading check out his frog fractions video that's going to go up later <laughs> oh yeah oh, well, who, who is that cam oh that sounds i am all aboard on that one that was really, really stressful you guys that was i don't <laughs> yeah. think i've been so stressed out in a video yet <laughs> it was a lot of reading yeah there was a lot of reading uh, but mostly just what like the aimlessness of the game and I didn't know how long it was gonna go and I didn't know well actually the text adventure part that was the worst that was the worst <sighs> I'm having terrible flashbacks right now stress <laughs> post traumatic stress right now yeah. <laughs> so many words in the world cause Cam's used to responding to books by just assuming that the words are chocolate filling and eating them <laughs> so when it's right, confronted yeah. with words on a yeah. screen, it's like he, his normal coping mechanism is gone. Yeah. True. You still alive, Austin? I'm on Mom's heart, and <laughs> things nice. are getting kind of crazy. Shit. Yeah, it sounded like things were dire for a little while there. Yeah, but... I'm at one heart. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, Austin! Oh, fuck. How am I going to get in there? I can only hope that at some point I'm gripping onto someone's wrist as they're dangling off a cliff. And, uh, and I'm their only hope. I really hope that's not me. I re uh, it could oh, be no, a rain. fuck. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, do huh? I I'm debating whether or not I want to go again. Oh, did I you die? The, how long is the video? It's 22 and a half minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I feel, yeah, I, I think I'm going to end it merely for the fact that I'm not going to get as good a run as that again. <laughs> I mean, Rob did this yesterday, and then the video was an hour and a half long. <laughs> yeah, well, right. <laughs> I, think, so. I think I'll learn my lesson from that. Well, yeah. Fortunately, yeah. it was another short one, but uh, but it was a fun one. I'm probably going to try that one again sometime as well. That 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 is uh, interesting, for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was, an, it was for, an honor uh, doing uh, our first video with you. Yeah, on the yeah, channel. I hated it. Yeah, Rob liked it one thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun <laughs> ignoring the fact you were playing a video game. And oh, just no, no, yeah, no, I, I remember that from the live stream. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah. we should, we should oh, by the way, I'm playing a video game. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I don't think people are going to hear that, Rob, because you're, like, super robot yeah. right now. He said, by the way. I am a robot. <laughs> he said, by the way, Austin's playing a video game. Oh, right, right. Well, That's the worst robot ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, doesn't... <laughs> His voice doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Well, poor Cam uh, humiliates himself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prevent that from happening. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm going to link it's all these fellows' channels in the description <laughs> below. And if you're not already subscribed to all three of them, which is crazy talk, why would you not be? Go do that now. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.